Hey guys, Alex here with Paragon Performance. Today we're going to be showing you how to install the center exit conversion for your C8 Stingray. This gives you that Z06 style exhaust being exiting out the center like previous generations of the Corvette. This is a OEM fit and finish. In fact, it, most of the bumper stuff is all OEM parts. Let's get to this install. As you can see here, we already have the bumper off, factory exhaust removed, and we have the center exit exhaust already installed on this vehicle. If you're unsure how to get to this point, check out our Paragon Touring exhaust install video. That will walk you through getting the bumper off, the OEM exhaust off, and getting this center section installed as all of that process is exactly the same. And then of course our tips are different. Um, you can't mess these up. They literally only go on one way. They don't fit if you try to put them on backwards. Your hanger will need to sit about parallel with the bottom of the crash support. And you will want to measure from the bottom of the crash support to the top of the tip. And that needs to be about two and a half to two and three quarters of an inch for that distance. And then work on leveling the tip side to side by twisting them up and down just a little bit. Once you've got that set, you can go ahead and tighten down those V-bands and this side of it is ready to go. Now we just need to move on to getting the bezel changed out on the actual bumper to accept this center exit exhaust. All right, so now we need to get this bezel piece actually removed from the bumper section. It's a fairly simple thing we need to do. We need to unclip these parking sensors from the bezel. Then we will need to remove all these plastic clips on this perimeter edge as well. And then on each end, we do have a seven millimeter screw that we need to take out. Let's get to it. All right, so we're gonna take these outboard tabs here. We need to pry those apart and then at the same time, pull up on the sensor out of the bezel. Here. We're just gonna tuck that out of the way. You'll do the same for the other one. All right, so to remove it, we need to depress this finger here on this side of the clip using a plastic pry tool or a second screwdriver, we're gonna just kind of gently pull it through the bezel, like so. And then we need to keep track of all of these because we will need to reuse them. And then we're gonna remove the seven millimeter screw on each side. All right, so we've got all the clips and fasteners out here. Now we just need to separate these two pieces. They have just a bunch of little tabs that stick through some slots. So we just need to kind of pick up on the bumper here a little bit, and then we'll be able to just kind of pull them out of place here. Just keep in mind that we don't want to damage any painted surfaces on the bumper, so. Okay. All right. We don't need this where we're going. All right, so we've got our new center exit one here. We're gonna have to peel some of this wrap back so our little tabs and stuff here will make it into the holes on the bumper. And we're just gonna make sure all of those line up through all these slots. All right, just like that. Then you're gonna take all those plastic clips that you saved from removing the old one. We're gonna snap all of those back through all of these holes all the way around. Get our seven millimeter screws installed in the rear. And then we need to reinstall our parking sensors. You do have to firmly push these into place because you are compressing a rubber seal around this as well. So that can be a little difficult, but they will need to click the tab in on both sides. All right, so next we need to get the black trim ring installed here on the bumper. This does go in from the underside here. We'll need to remove the plastic film out of the way and then it just has some little tabs all the way around that just snap into holes around the perimeter of the bumper ring here, so.
So we're gonna get the four grills here installed across the back. We have provided hardware with this so you can bolt them in place and you don't have to steal, steal all that hardware off the old bezels. And then we're gonna get the tip section installed as well. All the grills are actually labeled inner and outer, left and right hand sides. Keep in mind that's as you're sitting in the car, left hand being driver's side. They don't really only fit in one location, so. Then we have option to use the black tip section for this car. This installs from the back side as well, just like the grills. You do have to tuck it under these inboard grills here. Then using more of the supplied hardware, get all of these started. And then we're just gonna tighten down all the screws. There you guys have it. We've got everything installed here. We are ready to reassemble the car and enjoy that center exit exhaust. Finish pulling off some plastic film, get your bumper put back on in the reverse order of how you took it apart. And then of course, a little reminder, make sure you plug these three connectors back in here and enjoy your Z06 inspired center exit exhaust on your Stingray. As always, like, subscribe, and comment. We'll see you guys next time.